Hello, I am Ramin Karamlu, and we're here on Theater Mania talking about Les Miserables on Broadway. So Les Mis follows uh, a group of people in France during the revolution. Um, and I think the show ultimately is really about doing um, the right thing and doing the unselfish thing. Like if you ask like what Les Mis is about, I could say like, well, there's this guy, Jean Valjean, he steals the bread and like go through the whole thing. But I think that it's about um, the power in doing the unselfish thing. You know, throughout the show, you see people faced with a choice and forced to make a sacrifice. And a lot of the time it doesn't turn out well for them, but you see how it affects the greater good of the rest of the world of the play. Um, so it's a really beautiful message in that way about, you know, the power of doing the right thing. Overall, Les Mis is just a great study of right and wrong and the the gray in between those, you know, those blurred lines of, of what's right and what's wrong and what's what is the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. There are moments actually in the show where I just weep because I can't handle it because it's so overwhelming, the story and the music and the talent that tells the story. Um, this ensemble is incredible, the entire company it's a blessing. It's an absolute blessing to be here. This is a really new version. It's um, a grittier, more realistic version. It's less about sort of the mega musical that is Les Miserables, and it's more about, um, it, it almost feels like a play with music now. And I think it means more to people because of that. You know, it's, it's much more realistic. One of our big goals has been returning to the story, is to forget or try to forget that we're doing a musical and tell um, the story of these people um, as naturally and realistically as we can within the confines of singing it. And our goal at the end of every night is that the audience forgets that they've been sung to, which would be kind of nice. For those who have seen it before, it'll force them to see it again for the first time. And I, I might sound cliche, but I truly believe it because that's what happened to me when I saw it. You know, I'm. This is not about making better on the original. It's just a different take on it. it. Just takes you on a slightly different journey at times, but it's just as beautiful. And uh, it's nice to kind of like see your favorite thing for the first time again. And as sad and depressing as it may seem while you're in the throes of it, in, the, in your seats, somehow at the end, you're uplifted. And it's the most bizarre oxymoron in the world, but there is, there's, you, come, you leave the theater with hope.